Hey, welcome back to DT Performance. In this video, we're gonna be painting the calipers, uh, the disc brake calipers for the rear, the trick chassis rear end we have. We're gonna be using the VHT caliper paint. If you remember in the, the, uh, the front brake, the blazer swap upgrade video, we painted the calipers with uh, POR15. So I'm gonna take those off the truck and set them up here after we get these painted and see which one we like best. I got a feeling it's gonna be this VHT caliper paint. So if you like what you see, stick around. We'll put them, uh, do a comparison and see which ones we like best, the VHT or the POR15. Stay tuned. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Okay guys, what we have here is the disc brakes for the rear uh, that goes on the trick chassis rear end. I ordered these with the, uh, the trick chassis rear end. So before we start painting, what we're gonna have to do is get them, get them degreased. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some brake parts cleaner and spray them down and get them uh, cleaned. Then I'll use some wax and grease remover to wipe them down to get them prepped for paint. Then we're gonna tape off, we're gonna take our um, brake fittings out tape up the holes and then take off the parking brake brackets and paint uh, paint the calipers. We'll also be removing, I'll have to take out the brake pads as you can see and then tape off the rubber seal here on the inside. I'm also going to take out the, the, uh, the pins here as well. When we get these cleaned and painted, then uh, if you watched my first video on the brake upgrade from the blazer to the blazer brakes i painted those calipers with the por 15 caliper paint i really didn't like it it was really blotchy it's hard to use um, it didn't come out as smooth as i would have liked so I, I said in that video that the next video we painted calipers in which would be for the rear end we would use this vht and we would do a comparison so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to clean these paint it with vht then i'll take the the calipers that are on the truck now, one of them back off and we'll put them side by side and see which one has the, the cleaner looking finish. And you can see for yourselves. That truck hasn't been driven. If you've been following my channel, it hasn't been driven. So those those calipers don't have any wear and tear on them. They've just been bolted on the truck sitting in the shop. And I'll blow them off with the air hose, get them cleaned up. Like I said, after we get these cleaned and painted, we'll do a side by side comparison. And if you haven't seen that video, the dual piston blazer brake upgrade for an s10 truck i will leave the link to that video in this description in the description box below so that you guys can watch it and catch up i appreciate you guys that have stopped in and, and are watching these videos so without further ado let's get these things uh, these bolts and, and brake fittings parking brake brackets taken off get these things cleaned taped up and painted uh, probably gonna do three coats we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and uh, this is probably a short video and show you what VHT versus POR15 looks like. So stick around, guys. Okay guys, got everything taped up, 
We're getting ready to spray, and we're gonna use this VHT, if you can see that, this is called Real Red. So, let's get to painting. Don't forget your PPE. Let's get to spraying. Okay guys, we put three coats of the VHT caliper paint on. Now we're gonna unmask everything and get them all put back together. And I got something I wanna show you under this cloth right here. It's actually the caliper off the truck. We're gonna compare the colors, uh, how well the finish looks with the VHT as compared to the POR15 that we used on the front brakes. So let me get these assembled, get them put back together. And then we will take a, a a comparison, a slow motion comparison tour of these brake calipers. One painted with VHT, one painted with POR15. So stick around. Okay, as you can see, I've got the calipers back together. The finish turned out phenomenal. Don't know how durable they're gonna be, but the finish turned out very phenomenal. The only thing that concerns me a little bit is just from setting them up here on this paper, I noticed that there were some places, if you can see, if you can see right there, it's flaked off, and then there's a little spot right here that's flaked off and a little spot on this corner that's flaked off. That may be from my prep work, who knows. I cleaned, uh, I cleaned them both the same and this one doesn't seem to have that same issue, but I'll touch it up and we'll check the durability. We'll put them on the rear end and get them, get them going, get them greasy and dirty and see how this VHT holds up. I did tell you I had a surprise for you. This is the caliper the, from the Blazer Brake Swap video that we had talked about. And as you can see, when I took the brake line off, I spilt brake fluid on this caliper and it caused the POR15 to turn loose. Again, this could be from poor uh, prep work. I don't think so, uh, but we'll see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch this back up and uh, get it painted back red. But you can see how rough and how much dirt it just captures in it just from touching it because this these these calipers haven't even been used this truck as you know if you've been keeping up with the channel the truck is in a million pieces so i put these on and never tested them um and then here we are but i'll throw some pictures up right now and you can see a side by side of the vht versus the por 15 and you guys decide which one would you use? This is the first step to getting our rear end back together. So I'm gonna paint these calipers and then we will get that rear end right there, put back together. And with all that being said, guys, that's gonna end out the video. Thanks again for stopping by and watching the channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, give me some comments. I try to reply to every comment uh, that you guys put up. I love talking to you guys. And if, if there's anything I can do to help, I love doing that as well. So thanks again for stopping in to DT Performance and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.